Hi, this is Sean Chua. I'm the master trainer for chemistry in Winners Education Group. I'm also the author of this chemistry blog site known as simplechemconcepts.com. It's a platform where we discuss all level questions and equivalent. Now, uh, I just finished my Thec4 all level pure chemistry class and the topic of discussion for the day is known as pairing table and group trends. So why not I take this opportunity to show you a video on some fundamentals and introduction of periodic table. Now, as you can see on the board over here on the wall, this is a hand-drawn periodic table done by me. Um, let's take a look at it. Now, in the periodic tables is where all the elements are being placed and the elements are placed in the order of increasing atomic number. In other words, we say increasing proton number. What do we mean? You look at this element over here, this hydrogen, the number below is known as the proton number or atomic number. Right? The one on top is known as the mass number or relative atomic mass. Now, once again focus on the number below, this is what we call the atomic number. You realize from left to right it will be in an increasing fashion. Right? 3 to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what happens are all the elements in the periodic table, they are grouped in the order of increasing atomic number. Right? Uh, besides that, the elements are also classified in terms of metals and non-metals. If you stay close and look at this, there is a green line over here which separates um, boron and aluminum. Uh, and then you realize there is a step all the way towards the right side. This will separate the metals which is on the left hand side and the non-metals which is on the right hand side of the periodic table. A point to note is that hydrogen, which is more towards the left side, is a non-metal. Right? Although it's positioned here, we call this, or rather we classify this as a non-metals. Now, other fundamentals of periodic table is what we call the group number. They are basically the vertical column, right? and there are 8 of them. Group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And uh, we love to call them group 0 at the same time. So you'll see this is group 8 or group 0. Now, what is the significance of this group number in the first place? Now, elements in the same group, they will have the same number of valence electrons. Meaning that electrons, sorry, meaning that elements in the same group, right, will have the same number of valence electrons. In group 1, so lithium, sodium and potassium will have all one valence electrons. Group 2, they will all have two valence electrons. And we come to group 7, all of them have 7 valence electrons. So that's the significance of group number. What about the horizontal rows? Right? The horizontal rows. This is what we call the period. So what happened is um, elements in the same period, let's say lithium and beryllium in period 2, all of them all the way to neon over here, they will have the same number of electron shells, where they hold all the electrons. Okay? That will be the significance of the period table. Now, if you also look at this, you also realize there is one block over here in the middle of the periodic table where there is no group number. We call this the transition metals. All right? We call this the transition metals and they have a lot of properties related to that and we should discuss in the next video. Now, you also realize I actually have highlighted these two elements that is in orange color. Uh, what happened is these are the two elements that exist as a a liquid at room temperature and pressure. Now, that will be the introduction for periodic table. Uh, in the next video, I will talk to you more regards to the group trends as well as characteristics of different groups over here. Um, and yep, that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next video. Take care.